Yo, 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 it's David down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2010 Dodge Ram 2500 SLT Heavy Duty in gray stone pearl, powered by the 6.7 liter Cummings turbo diesel engine. Underneath the hood, this is a crew cab configuration truck with the eight foot box on the back. And this does have fender flares. And come to the front here, you'll have halogen headlamps lighting up the road in front of you with the turn signals there. There is an LED light bar on the front. Front and rear bumpers are chrome. You have that chrome around the grill. Has a very aggressive design that is large and big. And there's two tow hooks on the front bumper. Come to the side here. This Ram 2500 SLT Heavy Duty is running on 17 inch rims and the tires are Firestone Transforce mud and snow tires. With plenty of tread on there, you'll surely have lots of traction. There's mud flats behind all four tires and both driver and passenger sides do have chrome running boards, which makes it that much easier for you to get inside. Black door handles on the outside on all four doors. Both driver and passenger side door mirrors are breakaway and they're heated mirrors as well. And these are flip up tow mirrors and they are flipped up at the moment. You can easily flip them back down just like this and flip them back up whenever you want. And they have built in LED turn signal lights. Open up the driver's side door here. Here is the door panel. This does have two tone interior colors. Storage down below with two cup holders. Storage in the middle. Nice place for an arm. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with window lock. Chrome door handles on the inside on all four doors. This has a leather wrapped steering wheel. Feels great in your hands. It is a tilt steering wheel too. This has power adjustable pedals. You can move the pedals closer or further away from your feet. This has automatic headlamps so you can set it and forget it. There's the dimmer knob here. That button there will turn on the box lights. Directional air vent right here, which you can easily adjust handle right here so you the driver can easily hop inside driver's seat is fully powered with lumbar support this has cloth seating throughout adjustable headrests on the front seats and this has adjustable seatbelt height so depending on how big or tall a person you are adjust the seatbelt height so you're most comfortable inside this truck there's a pocket on the side of the middle console area right there nice big ram badge nice materials for your arm to rest on grab this chrome handle there's an upper storage compartment right here and there's also a power outlet which is always handy to have tons of space up here for whatever you need and this easily closes back up like so gravel lower there's even more storage space and a little spot there for some pens too there's two big cup holders right here a 12 volt dc power outlet a cell phone holder tons of space a nice chrome touch another storage area down below there up top there is an auto dimming rear view mirror and there's reading lamps there too let's go check out the back seat area i love how far this door opens up anybody or anything can be easily placed in the back seat area storage down below storage in the middle nice place for an arm power window switch convenience handle right here park on the back of the driver's seat there's a 12 volt DC power outlet down here, a nice Dodge badge and directional air vents, which you can close and open. There's two big cup holders down below, fold down armrest here with two big cup holders. So in total, there's four cup holders in the back seat area. Adjustable headrests in the back seats too. Hooks up above so you can hang nice clothing. So if you're going to a nice event, your clothing doesn't get all wrinkled. The interior lamp right here can also be used as a reading lamp. Push with your hand, it'll come on, push it again, it'll shut off. The rear seats do flip up like so, and you put things on top of here. Lift this up, this is a storage compartment. Feel free to put anything you want in there. Push it down, it locks right back up, and you can pull the seat back down like that. There's extra speakers up above connected to the Alpine sound system. There's insulated removable in-floor storage areas. You put ice in here, you keep cans of Coke, Balls of water cold, and if it gets dirty, you can remove it and clean it. I love how they stay nice and hidden underneath the mats. Let's go take a look at the rest of this truck. This is where you put diesel fuel. 
inside this truck. Come to the back, box lights are just up there. This does have rear park assist sensors on the back bumper. That's what those black dots are. Spot for a trailer hitch down below here. Connections so you can hook up a trailer or power up any aftermarket devices using this Ram 2500. And this also has airbags in the back. That's what that is. Nice badging, Ram badge, 4x4 badge, SLT badge, or should I say Dodge badge? It says Dodge right there. Open up the tailgate. There is wood in the box, protecting the box. So feel free to throw a bunch of things back here because the wood don't care. It's ready to take a beating. And of course there's hooks you can tie down your load. Love it. On both sides of this truck, there are steps here, so you can easily step up into the Ram. Chrome running board on this side is looking very good. I'll show you the other side of the back seat area here. Storage down below, storage in the middle, power window switch, nice place for an arm, great style. Convenience handle right here. Pocket, insulated, removable, in-floor storage area. This side flips up as well, and you put things on top of here. Lift this up. There's a subwoofer connected to the Alpine sound system, adding to the excellent sound quality. Easily cover that back up again just by closing that, and you can put the seat back down. Front passenger side, storage down below, storage in the middle, power locks, power window switch, looking good. Spot for some pens or packs of gum right here. Directional air vent, lower glove box here with a manual, lots of space in there. Upper storage area with a convenience light. And this is where you can connect your iPod. Passenger seat is manual adjustment and underneath the passenger seat are the tire changing tools which allows for easy access. For safety, this has driver and passenger side airbags. It has curtain side airbags and more. And there's another storage area right here. Let's hop inside and take a closer look at this Dodge Ram right now. That was the remote start system. Handy feature to have in the winter time. Press it twice so the doors can lock and then it will start right up. Unlock button, lock button, panic button here on the key fob. Nice dodge badge on the back and there's a regular key right here. Now you can hit the unlock button, hop inside Using the key fob here, go over to the side and push it into the ignition like so. Turn it to on and that'll get you past the remote start system. This truck only has 168,652 kilometers on it. Not too bad. It's definitely come book a test drive today. The tachometer, the speedometer, all the gauges look very nice. And using buttons on the steering wheel here, we can go through the driver information center. So the first thing you'll see that you have your fuel economy page here, let you know your average liters per 100 kilometers. You can reset that very easily just by holding the button here. Also lets you know your distance till empty on your tank of fuel. Vehicle info area here, that tells you your coolant temperature. Hold on, sorry about that. Oil pressure, transmission temperature, engine hours. Handy to have that information. Go back, you have your tire pressures here for all four tires. You have a place where you can change your units, a message center in case your truck wants to tell you something, screen set up here so you can customize the screen, make it more of your own. And yeah, lots of information on the screen. And there's a compass in the top left corner and an outside thermometer in the top right corner. And if you open up any door on this truck, it will let you know which door on the truck is opened. A nice big Ram badge here in the middle with of course a horn. It's a very loud horn and behind the steering wheel, there's steering wheel mounted audio controls that allows you to adjust your volume, go through your presets and so much more. Nice badging here, Dodge, and it says Ram down here. Little spot here for some things, directional air vents in the middle here, which you can easily adjust. 
there's a 115 volt AC power outlet. Had to have. Climate controls right here. You can adjust your fan speed, adjust the temperature, adjust where you want the air to go. This will turn on the heat mirrors, air conditioning, recirculate button. Very straightforward, very easy to use. This has four wheel drive. Turn this knob and you can easily engage the four wheel drive system. Trailer brake controller is just down here. This little button right here will turn on the LED light bar in the front. And here is the media center. Press the power button. You can direct tune into a specific radio station that you want to listen to, which I think is pretty cool. Great sound quality through the Alpine sound system. Oh yeah, definitely rock out. Have a good time while you're driving this Ram 2500. Turn it back down just like this. Go back out of direct tune. Presets here, you can easily set a preset by holding one of these boxes with your finger like so. There's voice recognition. Cancel. And a Bluetooth button. Cancel. Bluetooth connectivity is fantastic. You make hands-free calls and the voice recognition will assist you in making those hands-free calls. Press this button here, the screen will tilt down, exposing its CD player so you can listen to all your favorite CDs. There's a menu button right here, so you can adjust system settings, adjust your audio here very easily. There's an equalizer there too. This has a built-in hard disk drive. You can store pictures and music on your system and have them with you wherever you go. There's a USB port right here, which is fantastic for charging devices. And there's an auxiliary port there, another way to play music. Media button here, so if you have something, like music on the hard disk drive. You can play music off of it right here. If there's a CD in the CD player or something in the Zilli port, press the media button and you can listen to music through those areas. Radio, this will help you cycle through AM, FM, and Sirius XM. You can hide the list here. You can actually set a picture as your background. Very neat. Let's go back to FM radio here. You adjust your time. Nice. Press the power button here and it easily shuts off. You have an exhaust brake, tow slash haul mode, hazards. This will turn on the power outlet, rear, park assist sensors. So if I put this truck into reverse, I'll let you know on the screen here that your park assist system is on. And on the screen here, I'll let you know how close you're getting to an object. And you'll also hear audible beeps. Fantastic. And this does have tire light load inflation. You can select your gears right here very easily and using this knob right here you go through your trip computers trip a calculator hold it you can reset it trip b calculator hold it you can reset it and you also have a timer there you can reset the timer and back to the odometer definitely come check out this ram truck very soon it's a very spacious interior with lots of technology and easy to use controls and up here there are switches for the rear sliding windows. You can easily close that back up, just like so. And there's tons of visibility out the front window. It's the 2010 Dodge Ram 2500 SLT Heavy Duty, powered by the 6.7 liter Cummings turbo diesel engine. Underneath the hood is a crew cab with the eight foot box on the back. It has the Alpine sound system, rear park assist sensors, trailer brake controller and so much more this truck is ready to be put to work with you in the driver's seat come take a look today i'm your man david and i'll talk to you later yeah yeah